You're welcome. It's on the show, so looking forward to it. All right, well, we thank you, and we look forward to seeing you this thank year. You. Welcome to the Shay McCray Show here on TST Network. I am sitting here with the producer, actor, writer, co-writer, writer, film director, everything. I mean, you wear so many hats. Mr. Bishop and LJ. How you guys doing today? Good. How you doing? How you? Thanks for having me. I'm all right. Now, we're, we're here today. You, you do a lot, but we're here speaking about Deceptive Heart. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay. okay. Film that's um, going to be launching in January, yes. right? Yes. January okay. 28th. 28th. All right. Why don't you just give a little introduction of yourself to the people who don't know you? Uh, thank you. I am Lamarck Bishop. I am a uh, actor, writer, director of our film Deceptive Heart. It's premiering January 28th at the Aurora Cineplex Theater in Roswell. You can get your tickets on Eventbrite, Deceptive Heart, <laughs> Red Carpet Premiere, also hosted by your very own Shane McCray. <laughs> of course, he wastes no time. I hear that. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Oh, why don't you tell the people who you are, LJ? Thanks for having us. Um, once again, my name is LJ of LJ Entertainment and Management. Yes. And I'm here representing Deceptive Heart, which is coming out January 28th, 2018. <laughs> I am so, so happy. Uh, first independent film. Um, wear several different hats, but I, this is one project I am truly, truly happy about. I uh, can't wait to see you all. And thanks again for having me. Now, this is a big project because not only did you guys write it and co-write it and produce it and film and direct and pick the cast and everything, you're also acting in it, right? Right, right. So that, that's a lot that you're doing right there. It, it is, <laughs> it is. But, you know, it, your project is like, you know, you're a baby. And so, uh -huh. you know, if you have a child, you don't want anybody else raising your child. So you, you know, you have to step up and do all of it. You got to you know, do it Just all. to make sure it's right. I you know, hear you. You know, we're going right. to take a quick break. We're going to come back, and I want to get a little bit more into the character of um, Bishop or who you play on the film without, getting, without giving them too much, okay? okay. All right. Y'all keep it locked. Your girl, Shay McCray. Mrs. Kemp. Mrs. Kemp, my name is Detective Patrick Gray. I'm talking about faking like I love you, and I'm talking about coming here and dreading. How do you know about your silent business partner? What would Sandra say if she knew you were giving her money to a stranger? And a woman at that. This is about business, Myra. And sometimes there are casualties of business transactions. I don't have to walk out that door to die. I'm already dead. Deceptive Heart. Premiering January 28th at Aurora Cineplex Theater in Roswell. Get your tickets now on Eventbrite. The Deceptive Heart Red Carpet premiere. Deceptive Heart. I have seen gods. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh-huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? Hold up. Let's go. 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 My son, it is your time. Show me my respect and bow down. You get to decide 
what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. The revolution will not be televised. Show me my respect. And bow down. We own ya. We own ya. We only get started now. Cause we own ya. Everybody think they know me now. Cause we own ya. You and not my homie now. Cause we own ya. I waited my entire life for this. The world's gonna start over. I'ma burn it all. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. You will not be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. The revolution will not be televised. Let's have some fun. The revolution will be live. live, live. Welcome back to the Shane McRae Show. I'm sitting here with Mr. Bishop and Miss LJ. Before we went to break, we talked about um, you guys actually actually acting in the film as well. First, I want to start with you. What role do you play? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was an extra. I mean, I had a small okay. part of a, of a secretary. Okay. Um, and then I sat into a uh, gala. Uh, okay. And just was a fill-in. Oh, okay. So yeah. just to fill the room just up. Just to fill, fill okay. the room up. All right, that works. Okay. Small little speaking role. Okay. <laughs> now, you played the main role in this film. Did you write this film around you? So I, I, I did not. And okay. And what I, what I really want for people to understand is this film, I played Detective Patrick Gray. Okay. And this film is not about Detective Patrick Gray. There are stories within the film. Mm -hmm. So there's a story with the main character and his wife. Okay. There's a story with the main character's right-hand man. Mm -hmm. There's a story with these detectives. And at the end, you know, those all the stories will have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Gotcha. So, but so you, it's like different things going on. Now, where did this, how, did, how did the concept of this film come about? So, again, I grew up in front of a television set. Uh-huh. Uh, not that much outside. We all did. Back then. I mean, not like me. You was, you want to go outside? You didn't play football, none of that? <laughs> football, please. <laughs> you got the shoulders? I'm just like, you know. I'm allergic to pain. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear so. you. <laughs> but, but no. Uh, and so when you sit in front of a television that long and, you know, as you get older, you uh -huh. can put stories together in your head. Um, gotcha. But originally when I came down here... Uh, I was told to, you know, I needed a reel of, of all of my work. Absolutely, yes. And I didn't have that. And so I wrote this, and then it just got some some really great feedback. Great and, feedback. Uh, great feedback. So this film, you mean to tell me that this film started as a reel? Right here. It started as a reel, and then you turned around and developed the whole the, story. The backstory, yep. Behind it. That's interesting. That is. It is. And then you partnered with LJ to kind of go in and did you write, which, which parts were you, um, did you write, or did you guys have input in each story with Female within characters. The, okay, yeah. I knew yeah, that. The, I knew the, that. Yeah. <laughs> the female characters. The, okay. Know, what's believable. Okay. Uh, what a female would do. Okay. When placed in a situation. In certain situations, when right. When you can become vulnerable, when you can use the sexuality and, you know, you can use the provocativeness, you know, how, how women can be strong and subtle and submissive, and how cunning we can be. Is it getting hot? It's getting hot. So yeah, awesome. just, Not, you know. yeah, just, just how She's cunning. So, so give all the different perspectives, how women can have the same strength, but come at a different angle. Got right. you. Now you have the management company. Now, did you cast, um, or did, uh, are any of these your clients that's in the, the film, or did you help with the casting or was that solely you or handpicked? I, I, I did actually handpick everybody. You handpicked, okay. Uh, and I'm not in the film? I'm are you in the film? I'm just making sure. <laughs> I'm trying to, you're saying that. <laughs> <laughs> that, That's all right. I'm hosting the red carpet. Oh, January yeah, that's right. That's right. 
That's right. Like, you got to help me All out. All her fans, <laughs> just, just come and see her. Yeah. And enjoy a movie, too. Okay. So we're going to get into, because uh, we, we got the cast here, because I want to know why did you, you know, pick, everybody for their particular roles okay, okay. Um, but we have we'll talk to them when it you know we okay. get to them yeah. um, now as far as the um, did you help out with some of the, the characters like you went right in the woman parts did you tell them how you wanted them to be or what you saw what they needed what they needed to bring out well like he stated when when we first had this project come up um, I wanted to see more content. You wanted to see more content. I wanted yeah. to see, you know, I'm like, okay, you tried this in an attempt to make make your reel become larger. Gotcha. And now that it's going to be developed into a movie, uh huh. You're going to have to have some solid information from a female. Gotcha. And so I just kind of went in the different, based upon the character that he wanted the females to display. I just went into each individual character's head. How would this particular female respond or act in this situation? You know, without giving too much away about the movie. Yeah. Just taking those different aspects and if I was this woman, how would I present? If gotcha. I was the wife, what would I do? So he already had everyone handpicked out and I just helped develop the, the character into gotcha. the different females, those roles. Okay, okay. I am so excited to see That's this film. Keeping my head on straight, you That's know, like set of, you know, when you're on set and you got wearing 19 different hats. Oh, yeah. And you forget certain things and you leave certain things. See, when you have, when you have that, 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 that big set and uh -huh. you have all these different, you know, production people to mm -hmm. do, they, they are assigned to specific jobs. Yep, they, you Imagine right. if one person was doing their, all, you know, everybody's job. Yeah. Cause even think about it, even on those big sets, they don't really learn the 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 lines for them. They have someone even still on set feeding them their lines. You know, um, being that you wrote the um, film, I mean the the script, did you forget any of the lines? I just want. <laughs> no, because let me tell you, lines. I worked on the set. Damn um, right, I forgot. Lines. Of course, <laughs> um, recently, and it's like um, the guy was like, "Well, what's next?" And it was like, "You wrote it." It was like, "Okay." So I could imagine when you're wearing so many different hats. And then you still got to remember what you wrote, you know. I probably would remember, but you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just right. kidding. So um, I know that had to be a little difficult there, right? It, it was difficult, yeah. but it was fun and in, in the same breath. It was know. a lot of improv on your uh, be, on your end because of? No. No? Actually, you know, we, you know, I, I, I gave the actors the, the leeway to just, you know, go, just give me what you got. Got you know, you. But I was still able to, uh, you know, give input as well. So okay, so pretty much the film it was a guide to what you want them to do. Yes. Or, okay, not verbatim because you know in L.A. they they expect it's word for word. Okay. That's how that's the acting skill out there. Mm -hmm. Versus in Atlanta, they say a little bit lenient is more of a guide, and you just play with him and become you become that character. Okay. So okay, so we got the cast here. I'm excited to speak with them. All right. Um, why don't you just, before we go, why don't you tell the people what else you were working on, what else you have coming up next? So, you all don't know this, but I'm going to tell you that your host, Shay McCray, is now in my head. I am going, to, I'm saying this right here on her. I am going to write a script with her as the lead. She is a parolee. She's going to be on parole. She's going to play a con artist. That's later, jail, on That's later on down the line. I do have a couple of other projects in the okay. making. Um, I cannot really speak on them right now, okay. um, but just know that uh, another one is another suspense thriller. Okay. And the other one is a uh, television. So. Okay. So. Okay. Look forward to that. And um, how about you, Miss LJ? Well, for me, um, I get to step off into my passion. Um, I do have a uh, female artist. Um, yes. Okay. That will be coming out, and um, she's ready. She ready? She's ready. What's her name? Uh, shall I say? Yes. Okay. Well, she's not feeling too well. Uh, but T, if you out there, little Bay, I uh, hope you feel better. Okay. Um, we got work to do. Got All a lot right. of work to do. All so right. I'm, I'm very excited. And she from Atlanta? Uh, yes. Okay. She's based All out right. of Atlanta. So yes. do you just work with artists or do you work with um, actors and, um, you know, different other talents as well? Models. Models. Okay. Yeah, models. Actors. Why don't you give your website yes. and company, let them know how models, we can get in touch actors, with you. Actors. Um, I'm really big on independence um, and I'm into promoting um, and I'm just looking for passionate people. 
Okay. Um, I'm a passionate person, and I just want to network. Um, I'm promoting independence all the way. Um, I don't turn anything down. If you're passionate and you're looking for someone who's going to promote you and not take away your creativity and help you develop your vision, you're looking at the right person. LJ Entertainment Management and LLC. My name is LJ. You can find me on Instagram at J-I-L-U-N-Y-A or you can find me on Facebook at LJ Entertainment N. All right, you know, we need to give her a spot up here because she's <laughs> nailing it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, yes. you taught this? I mean, a little, I'm, bird, I'm, little birdie listen, told I, me that she out here teaching things. Listen, so. I'm just a fly on the wall. <laughs> That's but, what's up. Yeah, I'm Bernie Mac. So did we give you information? You can find me on my social media, Lamar Bishop 23 Instagram, Facebook, no SoundCloud. All right. <laughs> All right, and y'all make sure y'all don't go nowhere because we do have the rest of the cast here, and we're going to just talk to them in a sec. So, um... Y'all keep it locked. Don't go anywhere. It's your girl, Shay McCray. This is Kim, my name is Detective Patrick Gray. I'm talking about faking like I love you, and I'm talking about coming here and dreading. Do you know about your silent business partner? What would Sandra say if she knew you were giving her money to a stranger? And a woman at that. This is about business, my friend. And sometimes there are casualties of business transactions. I don't have to walk out that door to die. I'm already dead. Deceptive Heart, premiering January 28th at Aurora Cineplex Theater in Roswell. Get your tickets now on Eventbrite. The Deceptive Heart Red Carpet premiere. Welcome back to the Shay McCray Show here on TST Network. I'm sitting here with a cast member of Deceptive Heart, uh, Mr. Marvin Vance. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Good, good, good. All right, so why don't you tell the people who um, who you are and what role you play in the film? Oh, well, yeah, my name is Marvin Vance. I play the role of Myron. Myron? In the film, yes. Okay, so tell me about Myron. Well, Myron, he's the, um, you know, the, the right-hand man to the main character, um, Sean. Yeah. He's uh, more of the muscle kind of. The muscle yeah, kind of, like, kind oh, okay, so he's the bad guy. Yeah, That's how you say it. Bad guy. Okay, okay. Bad guy. Um, he, he handles his dirty work. Okay. You know, and it, it gets to a point where um, he's tired of handling his dirty work. So we see how that plays out and oh, that what sounds, happens. Okay, you know. that sounds good. Okay, so now you co-write in the film, okay? Now, what made you think or the development of the character that he would actually play a good role for this, a good um, part, the part well, should I say? Well, actually, it had to be a little twist to the story. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you know, it's like a rivalry between two men. You know, one wants to be the, the top dog, uh -huh. and then the other guy always foresees himself 
as being the individual to take over. And so just when I saw his face, uh -huh. it was something I just something about his features. They stand out, first mm. of all. It's like it's very intense. Yeah, it's very dramatic. And the eyebrows. Yeah, and it draws but you. But don't look at me like look at look. You see how he came? Like hold <laughs> on, like oh. Yeah, and it's just the intensity in his yeah. face. I wanted to see that character just become more and more. You know, every every it's like every time he came on set. You could just see the intensity. He was more mad. Y'all kept pissing more. him off. I already yeah. I know him. He just but looked it, at him. <laughs> and he kept getting into the role. Like, he became... He, came, he became in. Myron. I mean, he actually, in each scene, like I say once again, just the mannerisms, your uh -huh. behavior, the the look on your face, the, the expression. You know, it, like... It was more and more there. Like, dude, you wouldn't even have this so it's if it wasn't me, for me. You know? the, the description you guys gave me of the character was more like Nino Brown, like kind of like someone wants to be the Nino Brown. Mm -hmm. of, are you fighting for that Nino Brown spot or... It's kind of <laughs> fighting for it. Okay, but, you know, fighting, a little okay. bit. Yeah, you can All say right. that. You can okay. say that, but... Uh, okay. So who, what character, like who um, would you say that um, helped you pull this... Uh, Pull this character out. Um, no, to be honest, it wasn't really no um, it was specific you. character. All you. It was you know because when I act, I, I try to put myself in 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 the role and what yeah. would I do, um, me what I do in the situation uh -huh. or whatever according to what the lines give me. Okay. So and what the director gave me. So and I just. I, I I play with it. You know, when I'm at home, I play with how how to say roles, how to react, and okay. you know, and I try to be different in okay. in, in, in certain situations. So okay. um, that's. This your first film? No, not my first film. Okay, what's, um, not at all. what's some of the projects you worked on? Oh man, I've been well, I've been acting for maybe about sixteen years now. Sixteen years. You know, sixteen wow. years. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, and, um, All here in Atlanta? No, no. No. I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. So and I moved so they here. So have filming. There's a lot of indie filming, or not a lot. Okay. That's what I moved to Atlanta for. That's why. That was okay. mostly I did a lot of theater back in uh, Ohio. Stage plays. Stage plays. Yeah, yeah, they're known for that more than anything. Yeah. yeah. So okay. um, and that's when what the move was for to go to that next level and try film and okay. that's where is that? You know? That's where is that? Where you see yourself next? Oh, uh, well, the ultimate goal is always to, you know, um, do this for a living and, 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 um. Well, what, let me, let me rephrase just, that. What role do you see yourself playing There you next? go. Okay. <laughs> role is much. Um, uh, I've been, I'm, I hate to say typecast, but uh -huh. I, I've been, uh, a villain a lot. You've been a villain a lot. And, but I've been good guys a lot. I've been, uh, um. You know, uh, the 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 lead, um, the the what the 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 main the guy the the Even love the interest what whatever, whatever oh, the love interest in, 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 in oh, a lot I of stuff. That. You love interest, so, huh? um, Okay, let me I ask you a they, question. They I do have it. to ask you this, right? Um, being a, a straight man, man in in film in the film industry. Uh -huh. Do you ever see yourself playing no, a gay role? No, 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 no in a no, major no, film. No, that's where I draw the line. That's where you draw that's a line. That's where I draw a line. You know, everybody, I have to believe everybody has a, a line where they won't cross, and that's, that's mine. Some people, you know, will. Some people won't. But that, and I, I just can't do it. I don't want to be known as that guy. Because, you know, yeah. that, it, it, you know they, Kevin Spacey played that role in the film, and then now he come out and say, and, and everybody say when they saw that, that movie, they kind of thought it was a little skeptic anyway, mm -hmm. but then you come out and say that you, you yeah, are bisexual. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's just interesting um, because everybody thought he was straight back then mm -hmm. playing this role and then here it is. Yeah, come out. I, I, I can't do it. You can't do it. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't even audition for it. I couldn't. You were an audition <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you let the people know how we can keep up with you and follow your journey? Um, you can follow me on Facebook um, at um, Marvin Vance, uh, Instagram, Mr. A. Vance. Yeah. Okay. All right. Y'all see, he's not playing those roles, so don't even come for don't him. Don't even think about it. And if you want to book him, he's good. I'm he good. give you a mean mug. Y'all keep it locked. We'll be right back. <laughs> I 
I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh-huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? Hold up. Let's go, go. My son, it is your time. Show me my respect and bow down. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. The revolution will not be televised. Show me my respect. And bow down. We own ya. We own ya. We only get started now. Cause we own ya. Just try to think they know me now. Cause we own ya. You and not my homie. Yeah. Cause we own ya. Uh, I waited my entire life for this. Uh, the world's gonna start over. I'ma burn it all. What happens now determines what happens. To the rest of the world. You will not be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. What kind of forever? The revolution will not be televised. Let's have some fun. The revolution. We'll be live. 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 Mrs. Kemp? Mrs. Kemp, my name is Detective Patrick Gray. Talking about faking like I love you, and I'm talking about coming here and dreading. Do you know about your silent business partner? What would Sandra say if she knew you were giving her money to a stranger? And a woman at that. Look, this is about business, Myra. And sometimes there are casualties of business transactions. I don't have to walk out that door to die. I'm already dead. Deceptive Heart. Premiering January 28th at Aurora Cineplex Theater in Roswell. Get your tickets now on Eventbrite. The Deceptive Heart Red Carpet premiere.